I'm Grace. So let's get started. I'm a recipe blogger, family taught home chef. Cheers. Cheers. iPhone only photographer and proud New Englander. It's almost impossible to not like a shrimp tempura roll. It's made from crispy shrimp, cucumber, avocado, seasoned sushi rice, and nori. And believe it or not, you don't need to have any fancy sushi making skills or a bamboo mat to make amazing sushi. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make this shrimp tempura roll and it will blow your mind. And it starts off with our seasoned sushi rice. Say that five times fast. And I'm gonna show you how to make it now. So easy. Follow the instructions on the sushi rice package. I bring my rice to a boil and then simmer for 20 minutes, which leads to slightly al dente sushi rice. Our rice is steaming. And while our rice is steaming, I have some shrimp tempura here. I just got it right from my local grocery store, right in the freezer section. You can buy it already battered and ready to go in the oven just so you have to bake it off. It's a real time savings. So I'm just gonna follow the instructions on the back of the package and bake these off until they're nice and crispy. Once your rice is done steaming, stir in seasoned rice wine vinegar. Spread rice out in a large container and let cool in the fridge to room temperature. What are you doing? You don't need the shrimp. Is this for the video? Just the crispies. Everything's cooling and it's time to prep our veggies while we're waiting for our shrimp to cool and our rice to cool. So we take an English cucumber because these are the crunchiest, they're the best cucumbers. You wanna take the ends off and then you wanna cut your cucumber in thirds. So I'm gonna cut here and I'm gonna cut here and we're gonna make little sticks of cucumber. Then I'm gonna take one of my thirds, ooh, it's slippery and I'm gonna cut that third in half, just like that, move these over. And then I'm gonna take one of those and I'm gonna flip it and I'm gonna cut it in half again. And then, I don't really like the seeds, usually you don't get the seeds in sushi, so you wanna take most of those seeds out. Same thing with your other little half here. And then, you just wanna cut this in half again. And that way you have nice little thin cucumber sticks, just like that. I'm gonna keep going for my whole cuke. My cukes are ready to go. And now I'm gonna deal with my avocado. So I took out the core of my avocado, I'm using just ripe avocados, you don't want them too mushy. You want them to still have some texture to them. And then you just wanna take a spoon and just go on the outside of your avocado and scoop out the center. And then we're just going to go the long ways. We're gonna make little slices of avocado, just like that, not avocado, <laughs> avocado. So I got my spread here. I have all my sushi ingredients ready to roll on the counter, starting off with our shrimp tempura. It's cooled to room temperature. I took the tails off because you don't want to chew in those. I have my sliced avocado. I have my cucumber. I have my seasoned rice, where we put our seasoned rice wine vinegar right into our rice. Seasoned rice wine vinegar, by the way, is something that you can buy right in the grocery store. It has a little sugar, a little salt in it, and it gives it that kind of tangy flavor that you know in sushi. I have a little bowl of water, and this is gonna help us roll our sushi rolls and not get rice all over our fingers. And then I have my sheet of nori, which you can get right in the grocery store. This is your classic paper that you wrap sushi in. And then I have parchment paper. And this is going to be our substitute for our bamboo mat. You can of course use a bamboo mat, but if you don't have one like me, this is the best trick ever. So what you wanna do first is you're going to take a scoop of rice here and you're just gonna put the rice right in the middle of your paper. 
And you just want to use the back of the spoon to kind of start pushing that rice into the corner of your paper. So once you're getting close, you're gonna see that you have a nice even layer of rice all on your nori. You don't want it too thick, but you do want it right out to the edges except on the top. If you need to, you can wet your fingers in just a little bowl of water and then use it to smooth the rice out on your nori and it won't stick to your fingers. So once you have your even layer, it's cucumber time. So we're going to add all of our filling to the bottom third of our nori, the third that's closest to you. So you're gonna start off with some cucumber and I like to do about two little layers of cucumber because I like a nice crunch. So I'm gonna add just one slice kind of going across your sushi. So probably fit about three maybe four. And then I'm gonna grab my shrimp tempura and you're just going to place the shrimp tempura right on the top of your roll. You can kind of use your hands to keep everything stacked just like that. And I think two will fit for the size of these large shrimp. So wet your fingers, kind of get some of the excess moisture off. You just want them damp. And then you can kind of hold all your ingredients together, really kind of push them together. Hold your parchment paper with your two fingers, just like this, and then you're gonna use the rest of your hand to kind of grab on to the stuff in your roll. And then you're just going to use your parchment paper and you're just gonna push up on it, so that way you start rolling the nori over on itself. Use your parchment paper for leverage and keep pulling, pull, 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 pull kind of away from you so that the nori is nice and tight and keep rolling, pushing, rolling, pushing, make sure everything's tight. And then when you get to the end here, you can kind of use your hands, squeeze everything together just like that. And then you can release the parchment paper. Go like this, slowly release it. Woohoo! some of the stuff might squeeze out of the ends, but that's totally fine. You can find the end of your sushi where you need to seal your roll. Take your finger and then just seal it shut, just like this. So that all your roll stays together and nothing slides out. You can put your parchment aside and you wanna take a sharp knife and you can just wet the blade a little bit. Be careful with your fingers. Look at that, how pretty. Keep slicing away, however many slices you like. I eat sushi with my hands. Little soy sauce, of course. Mmm. I wanted to put the whole thing in my mouth. It's a little too big. <laughs> so good. Honestly, it tastes like a sushi restaurant right in your own house. I can't wait to dive into the pickled ginger. I look like a chipmunk, but it's fine. Check this out on tastefullygrace.com. You won't regret it. Peel your avocado from the outside, just like this, kind of loosening it and then Peel it, <laughs> just like this. I'm trying to make it look easy, but it's not. <gasps> you can get it right in the freezer section of your local grocery store. It saves so much time. You don't have to batter your own shrimpies. <laughs> Oh. <laughs>